Hey out there, freaks, geeks, and music fans. This is your old pal, DJ Buddy, uh, here today to discuss the one, the only, Gene Simmons, the demon, the god of thunder. Mr. Gene Simmons. Some people will berate Gene uh, for his opinions. Some people will even give his birth name, uh, a tone, an inflection of, uh, of disdain when they use it. They go, we've gotten word from Chaim Wits, you know, and we know what they're doing there. And it's not cool, folks, okay? Now, say what you will about Gene Simmons. The man is sharp, okay? But most recently, he said... He doesn't have any friends. Is that a collective awe I hear out there? Or maybe you say, well, if you're the way you are, Gene, you're not going to have any friends. Listen, that's not what the guy says. There's an article today uh, on the uh, Loudwire website that uh, talks about this. Gene says that he doesn't have any friends. And they ask him, well, Gene, why not? Right? Why don't you have any friends? And he clarifies it. And he talks about how he wants to do his own thing. And he's not really interested in hanging out with people. Why would he be? He's 73 years old. He's got a busy business. Okay? He's got a wife. He's got kids, maybe some kids he doesn't know about, maybe some kids the world doesn't know about. The guy's got a ton of business affairs, and there comes a point in a person's life where your life is so taken up with taking care of stuff, you enjoy it, hopefully, right? Okay, you shouldn't be weighed down by these things. And that's one of the great things about Gene Simmons is he always had a great verve for his work a verb for topping himself. Certainly you can build trustworthy relationships while doing business, whether your business is doctoring, lawyering, uh, finance or whatever, or building a rock and roll empire. But are these people your friends? Not really, they're not your enemies. It's a relationship where something is all give and take. What do you get out of it? What do I get out of it? But the truth of the matter is, that is the way it is with friends, too. Think about friends, you kind of love them anyway, but there's something in it for everybody. There is mutual love, care, satisfaction. But Loudwire Magazine here did go on to ask Gene about his buddy and co-vocalist, Paul Stanley. And there is where he made an exception, okay? And uh, that was the one and only one, uh, only one there. And he says um, something to the effect of, well, he and Paul don't get together and just hang out. They get together to talk about the band and their families and, and what have you, horrible side notes as part of the conversation. The reason for this, folks, is let's get real. Paul Stanley's got his own thing going on too. So just wanted to share that I personally understand this philosophy. I'm not going to judge it whether it's good or it's bad or otherwise. It's something that works for Gene Simmons. So always, always, I respect the man, the man, the demon, all that kind of stuff. I respect his business acumen. I wouldn't necessarily live in uh, a lot of the ways that he does, but you can learn from the guy. I highly recommend his first book. And by the way, if you aren't aware, KISS is on their end of the road tour. They're playing down here in West Palm Beach tomorrow night. I personally still haven't copped a ticket, even though I'm a big, big KISS fan, as is the rest of my family. But you can always find something. If you have not seen KISS ever, cannot emphasize it strongly enough, go see them. There is no more exciting live band than KISS. There are better musicians, there are better vocalists, okay? But there is no band that is more exciting 
or we'll give you that kind of show. Anyway, that's me, your old pal, DJ Buddy, coming at you, to you, from DJ Buddy's Rock Garden. Like, subscribe, check out the Facebook group. Thank you for checking in.